Hello everyone, I'm Bo from Communication University of China. I'll be presenting our work on hybrid receiver-side congestion control scheme for web real-time communication. This is a joint work with my mentor Yuan Zhang and my school fellows Si Zhe, Zi Peng, and Yu Hong from Communication University of China. Before talking about the model, let's review the challenge of designing a congestion control scheme for web real-time communication. As shown in this figure, the objective of congestion control is to keep network links operating at the optimal point where in-flight data volume equals to BDP. For real-time communication, WebRTC tends to keep the receiving buffer at a lower level to reduce the latency. It treats the excessively delayed packets as losses, which may bring severe damage to media quality. On the other hand, probing mechanisms designed for loss-based TCP cause random queuing delays that cannot be tolerated in real-time applications. Therefore, congestion control is challenging in WebRTC, especially in terms of the trade-off between the delay and the media quality. To meet the real-time requirement, existing heuristic schemes estimate the bandwidth based on a fixed model operated on a certain network that could hardly adapt to all network conditions. As a result, we may tend to underutilize or overutilize network capacity in many cases. Learning-based, especially reinforcement learning-based schemes commonly employs deep neural network to generate bandwidth estimate. They outperform the state-of-the-art heuristic schemes when applied on network scenarios with collected network traces that have been used during the training. However, it brings severe degradation to the quality of network transmission in unfamiliar scenarios that the agent has never experienced during the training. Now I'm going to give an overview of a WebRTC transmitting session. For a WebRTC session, at the center side, a media stream is first compressed by an encoder and then packetized to an RTP packet stream. At every decision-making interval, which is 200 million seconds in this work, the receiver side controller estimates bandwidth based on a set of metrics measured from received RTP packets. Afterwards, the receiver sends the bandwidth estimate back to the sender via RTCP packets, allowing the sender-side controller to decide the sending rate. In the grand challenge on bandwidth estimation for real-time communications, the bandwidth estimate is fully decided by the receiver-side controller. Recently, a bachelor and others have proposed an approach to combine heuristic congestion control schemes and deep reinforcement learning techniques, namely ORCA. It achieves consistent high performance in different TCP network conditions and alleviates the issues such as convergence of fully RL-based schemes. Inspired by ORCA, we propose a hybrid receiver-side congestion control, also known as HRCC framework for WebRTC. The framework consists of two components, a heuristic congestion control scheme adapted from GCC and an RL agent that periodically tunes the heuristic scheme's output estimate based on its observation on network link. By combining two methods, HRCC aims to achieve the robustness of a classic heuristic scheme and the adaptability of a learning-based scheme at the same time. Our simulation evaluation shows that the proposed framework achieves higher bandwidth utilization and better overall QoE than both of its individual components. During evaluation, we noticed that the heuristic scheme comes in two flavors. First, decrease estimation quickly to sudden bandwidth drop and packet loss. Second, increase estimation slowly to sudden bandwidth rising. In our design, the deep neural network 
namely the agent, generates a gain coefficient from 0.5 to 2 for the bandwidth estimated by the basic heuristic scheme every four decision-making intervals. We call it a guide interval. We hope the design will bring improvement to the performance of the heuristic scheme. With received RTP packets, the heuristic scheme takes the packet loss rate LT, queuing delay DT, and receiving rate RT of the last decision-making interval as inputs and generates bandwidth estimation BT and out bandwidth usage state UBW. Afterwards, the state generator takes states mentioned above to generate state input for the RL agent. At the end of every guide interval, the RL agent outputs a gain coefficient mu based on the state input to tune bandwidth estimate. Now we focus on the key modules of HRCC. The figure depicts the workflow of the heuristic congestion control scheme. We choose GCC as the heuristic scheme because to the best of our knowledge, it is the most employed congestion control scheme in WebRTC. It consists of two build rate controllers, a loss-based controller and a delay-based controller. The loss-based controller calculates the packet loss rate based on the incoming RTP packets. In simple terms, the loss-based controller tunes down the bandwidth estimate when detecting higher packet loss rate and tunes up the bandwidth estimate in lower packet loss cases. The delay-based controller calculates the delay gradient according to the received RTP packets and decides the trend of delay change and decide bandwidth estimate based on the trend line of delay change. The heuristic scheme takes the minimum value of the two controllers as its final bandwidth estimate. Now we introduce the design of the RL agent. After every step of receiving RTP packets, the RL agent takes a six-dimension vector ST. It includes the measurements of the receiving rate delay, packet loss rate, bandwidth predictions, the most current bandwidth estimation given by HRCC that caused overuse for the last 10 decision-making intervals, and the time so far since the last overuse for the last 10 decision-making intervals. We adopt convolutional layers to extract the sequence features and fully connection layers to encode the gain coefficient policy. For training algorithm, we choose proximal policy optimization algorithm to train the agent. We use 700 network traces for simulation training, 200 of them specifying 1% to 10% packet loss rate. The more specific information about the HRCC modules can be found in our paper. Now I'm going to give the simulation test results. To demonstrate the performance of HRCC, we train a fully RL-based bandwidth estimator with a structure similar to the RL agent of HRCC. We remove the state information given by the heuristic scheme from state input. It outputs a gain coefficient between 0.5 to 2 to tune the ban previous bandwidth estimate. We conduct the simulations under 100 network traces to compare the hybrid scheme with both of its individual components. In other words, the Foley heuristic scheme and the Foley RL-based scheme, each lasting 100 seconds. The average bandwidth of these traces ranges from 500 kilobit per second to 7 million bit per second while 25% of them specifying 1% to 10% packet loss rate. As provided in the table, HRCC achieves the highest bandwidth utilization with similar delay and loss performance compared with the Foley heuristic scheme and outperforms the other two schemes on overall QoE. And now I'm going to give three specific test cases to show the performance of HRCC. These two figures depict the examples of running simulations under different traces without random loss. As you can see in the left figure, 
in some network traces under relatively stable conditions. The fully RL-based scheme performs well enough. However, in the right figure, it lacks constraints on bandwidth estimate under the other traces that are completely different from the training data, making the estimated bandwidth totally off the trail and causes fatal fluctuations of the queuing delay. Furthermore, we evaluate the performance of these three schemes in bad network environments with random loss rates. As shown in this figure, the fully heuristic scheme cannot reach the available bandwidth at all due to its loss-based mechanism, while the fully RL-based scheme causes extremely high queuing delay though achieves better bandwidth utilization. In this case, HRCC reaches the best compromise. As a summary, HRCC consists of a robust heuristic scheme to continuously make bandwidth estimate and RL agent to periodically tune the bandwidth estimate made by the heuristic scheme. Simulation test run verified that HRCC outperforms both of its individual components and get the second place in multimedia systems 2021 Grand Challenge on bandwidth estimation for real-time communications. With that, thank you for listening.